How can these states be so united? From Wall Street to Yard Street, it seems as though we're systematically divided. And they label us as violent. But I guess chemtrails is just part of the natural environment. But I see a revolution on the horizon. No longer will we accept physical and mental confinement or pledge allegiance to a system of tyrants. Because black is brilliant. Black is resilient. See, they wonder why pyramids never fall. <laughs> because guess who built it? And I guess they think depopulation will get us to leave. And they got patents on Ebola vaccines. When really racism is the biggest disease. See, in America, every day is like a race to a finish line. Guilty until proven innocent. Even our youth are being killed without committing crimes. And every step towards liberation is one step away from genocide. Even if it takes many miles, a million miles, for each and every Mike Brown. Pledge of a revolution. Landrell. See, this is not about black against white. This is a battle of wrong against right. Because injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And that's what this is about. This is about raising awareness to what's going on around us. And if you're not paying attention, something has gone and something is going terribly wrong. And I believe as humans, as humanity, that it is our job to stand up for what's right. Because what happened in Missouri, what happened in Chicago, and what happened in Savannah can happen right here in our neighborhoods. But that's if we allow it. So let's not be complacent. Let's not just sit back and watch things unfold. Because somebody has to set the tone. Someone has to take a stand. If not me, then who? Now, I may not be the one to change the world, but I'm willing to sacrifice all I have and all I have to give to take that first step to influence that change and promote unity amongst us all. Because in order for there to be a revolution, there must first be unity. So we have to come together for one common cause and one common purpose, and that's complete liberation. And not justice for me, not justice for you, not justice for Mike Brown, but justice for all of us. And so I now ask you, what are you willing to give? What are you willing to sacrifice? Not only to inspire that change, but be a part of that change. To be a part of that revolution. Run for justice.